Hi guys, Mr. Ruffleffles here. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Exo Zombies storyline. Specifically, we'll be looking at the new cutscene footage that we have in the Descent trailer and how it relates to the story we've already built up so far. Right at the start of the Exo Zombies portion of the DLC4 gameplay trailer, we see this video. It shows Oz as a zombie, so it's picking up directly from where Carrier left off. And Lilith then says, Oz? She's questioning whether it really is him, as we are familiar with at the end of the carrier cutscene. However, there's an explosion, and the interesting thing that is left to our imaginations for now is how they're going to get from this burning aircraft carrier to the underwater secret facility where the new ExoZombies map, Descent, takes place. In Activision's words, Descent introduces a remote, Ocean Atlas Survival Facility, new fused exo-zombie enemies, and the Trident Reflected Energy Weapon. I've talked about the weapon, and I've talked about the fused zombies in a separate video, link in the description, but the fact that we're moving to an Ocean Atlas Survival Facility is extremely interesting. This is the end of the saga. They have said multiple times, this is the final episode, and it's the conclusion to the story that has been built up since the Outbreak map. Their wording when they say things like, this is the dramatic conclusion of the exo-zombies saga, with the last episode, Descent. Those words make it sound like they aren't planning to leave us on a cliffhanger. Thank goodness. They aren't planning to leave a load of loose ends that are going to be tied up in a future title like Advanced Warfare 2 or something like that. Instead, they're going to give us some definitive answers. We're going to learn things that currently are extremely ambiguous. For example, right now, Atlas very obviously has some kind of grand scheme, and my buddy Mailbox has actually made a video about this, and we've debated about it ourselves on Skype and stuff, and it's extremely peculiar. Right now, what Atlas is actually wanting out of all of this is kind of unclear. They could be in it for their own monetary gain. There's also the possibility that they're doing it to cover up some kind of other menacing threat that they're trying to bring about. And this actually ties in with another thing that Activision have said. In the description of the trailer, they again mention the fact that it's the culmination of the ExoZombies saga. And then they say, and this is really vital to understanding what's going to be happening, our heroes unravel the true cause of the global pandemic and the terrible secret that Atlas has been hiding. So what that means is that over the course of this entire story, Atlas has managed somehow to keep something under wraps. What it is, we don't know, but there's a chance that it might be referring, that sentence that is, to what we see at the end of the trailer when there's a very short little snippet of video of this new mutant boss looking mess of a zombie. It's nothing like anything we've seen before in Exo Zombies or in Call of Duty Zombies, period. The thing it actually looks most similar to is the engineer that never actually made it into a proper map. You might remember it from the Black Ops 1 terminal files. Even that though is a stretch. It really does look like a completely different kettle of fish and, well, actually thinking about it, it doesn't look anything like a kettle, and it certainly doesn't look like a fish. It looks like a tower of, like, babies glued together with some weird spikes coming- I don't even know, guys. It looks damn strange, that's for sure. I digress. Like I was saying, there are plenty of things that we would really like the answers to in the story, but currently, it's been left for us to imagine and try and fill the holes in with speculation. But what I believe Descent is going to do is it's going to basically say Oz is clearly, well, let's say unique, I guess. There's something that's going on with him that doesn't seem to be going on with anyone else. But the fact that they say we're going to be learning about the true cause of the pandemic, not just the cause as mentioned previously by Lennox, <laughs> That thing you call Oz? He's the source of the infection. A bullet's not gonna stop him. Means that maybe what Lennox has been saying has been balderdash, poppycock, lies. He could have been mistaken for all we know. He's said things in the past, like Oz is patient zero, he used to work for Sentinel, Atlas dropped a bomb, it messed with Oz's insides, things got a little nutty. But what if Lennox has been lying the whole time? 
Do you guys remember what Oz said? Take a listen. His name is Lennox, works for Sentinel. They think they're the good guys. That's regular Oz talking about Sentinel thinking they're the good guys. That's Oz at the end of the story, surely, recounting the events of the ExoZombies storyline. And so, could it be that what we're going to end up with in the Descent map is an intro cutscene in which the characters move from Carrier to Descent, that's their transition, then in Descent, we interact with Oz in some way, maybe he's in the map, we know that he's not playable, but maybe he's around the place, and then at the end, we cure Oz somehow, or we break free of the simulation or whatever, and we figure out exactly what it is that Atlas have been doing this whole time. Personally, I think that that is the likely option, and I would love for that to be what Sledgehammer serve us up with on August 4th when the map pack releases. What's my name? Mr. Ruffle Waffles. Who have I been? Mr. Ruffle Waffles. How have you been? Hopefully quite good. If you have been good and you've enjoyed, then leave a like, and I'll see you very soon in another video. Toodles!